hello everyone and welcome back once again you know today's video we will learn on the most important and selected multiple choice questions from Indus Valley Civilization to begin with let's first of all start with or from question number one when was the Indus Valley Civilization discovered option given here are 1920 1921 1922 and 1923 I'll give you a few seconds for you to test your multiple choice question answer and the right answer for this question will be 1921 next we have the first city discovered at Indus Valley Civilization was option given here are Lothal, Mohenjo-Daro, Harappa and Kalyapankan the right answer for this will be option number C that is Harappa because we know that the Indus Valley Civilization is also sometimes called as Harappan Civilization because Harappa was the first city discovered in this Indus Valley Civilization next we have question number three Indus Valley Civilization belong to which of the following age? Stone Age, Iron Age, Copper Age, and Bronze Age. The right answer for this question will be Bronze Age because we have done this in our last video as well. Indus Valley Civilization took place after the end of the Copper Age because from after the end of the Neolithic Age comes a Copper Age and people started making use of copper with tin which led to an injury of a new age called the Bronze Age. So the right answer for this will be Bronze Age. Question number four we have, who first excavated Harappa site? The right answer will be option number A, that is R.D. Dayaram Shani in the year 1921. Next we have question number five, where were granaries found? The option given here are Kalibangan, Lothal and Tolavira, Harappa and Mohenjo-Daro. The right answer for this will be Granaries were found at two places, that is Harappa and Mohenjo-Daro. Moving further, we have question number six. What were, what are the main sources of our knowledge about the Indus Valley Civilization? Or how do we know the historical backgrounds or historical records of the Indus Valley Civilization? Options given here are the Vedas, archaeological excavations, Puranas, and inscriptions. And the right answer for this will be the archaeological excavations because we know that the script that was used by the Indus Valley people are still yet to be deciphered so we cannot make sure about the you know we cannot solely depend on the inscriptions of the Indus Valley people so the right answer here will be the artifacts discovered from the Indus Valley sites or the archaeological excavations question number seven the main occupation of the Indus Valley people was trade agriculture both a and b none of the above and the right answer for this will be bot A and B. We should keep in mind that the main occupation of the Indus Valley people was agriculture, but in addition to that, they also had a trade relationship with other civilization as well. So the right answer for this will be bot agriculture and trade. Then question number eight we have at which place a beard man in stated has been found? Options given here are Mohanjodaro, Galibangan, Rangpur, and Lothal. For those of you who are confused with the beard man here, you can see the picture image that I'm presenting in this in this screen here, because uh, this beard man is re referred to as the priest king in the NCERD class 12 textbook as well as the NBSE textbook. So we have this pictorial image as a priest king in our textbook. So beard man instead of it means the priest king that we have studied in our class 12 class textbook. So at which place a beard man instead has been found? The correct answer will be Mohenjo-Daro. Option question number nine: The sculpture of a bronze dancing girl was found at Mohenjo-Daro, Kalibangan, Rangpur, and Lothal. The right answer for this question will be Mohenjo-Daro. Then, of question number ten, we have which of the following was the port down or the port city of the Indus Valley Civilization? Mohenjo-Daro, Galibangan, Rangpur, and Lothal. And the right answer for this question will be option number D, that is Lothal. Moving further, we have question number 11. Harappa was located on the bank of river. Answers, options given here are Ravi, Indus, Jhelum, and Chena. For those of you who have watched my last video, we have also done this in a very detailed analysis way. 
and the right answer for this will be River Ravi. Harappa was located on the bank of River Ravi, and this River Ravi is actually a tributary to the Indus River. Of question number 12, we have Mohenjo-daro was located on the bank of River Ravi, Indus, Chelam, and Chenab. And the right answer for this will be River Indus, because Mohenjo-daro, you know, uh, was located or took place on the main stream of River Indus. That it will be this on the southern part of Harappa. Question number thirteen: We have where was the Great Bath found? This is a very common question. Options given here are Mohenjo-daro, Kalyabankan, Rangpur, and Lothal. And the right answer for this will be obviously option number A, that is Mohenjo-daro. Then question number fourteen: The metal unknown to the Indus Valley people was. Options given here are bronze, stone, copper, and iron. The right answer for this will be the iron, because we know that the Indus Valley civilization existed after the bronze, after the copper age, and existed during the bronze age. So obviously they have made use of bronze, stone, and copper as well. So the only metal that was unknown to the Indus Valley people will be an iron. Question number fifteen: Who was the main male god worshipped by the Indus people? Option given here are Indra, Lord Vishnu, Lord Brahma, and Lord Shiva. The right answer for this will be Lord Shiva. Before we move ahead, we should keep in mind that Lord Shiva is a modern name of Lord Bashubati or Lord Rudra. So in our textbook, NCERD textbook, we will find the name of the male god worship by the Indus people as Lord Bashubati or Lord Rudra. So we should not get confused with the name. Now the pictorial image that we are, as uh, you know, seeing in this screen is the, you know, pictographic script that we have discovered that was discovered from the Indus Valley civilization. Before we move ahead, we should keep in mind that uh, the we are not very much sure about the real, you know, religion that was followed by the Indus Valley people. But uh, the only thing we can say that the male male god worshipped by the Indus people was Lord Shiva of today. How do we know that they worship the Lord Shiva? When we do not know, know when we, we have, when we have not yet discovered or deciphered the script that was used by the Indus people, the reason is because archaeologists and historians are trying to compare the religion of the modern day Hindu and that of the Indus Valley people. So the picture that we are, we can see here on the screen is the pictographic script or the seal that was discovered at Harappan site. If we compare this seal with the modern day Lord Shiva that was that is followed by the Indi uh, Hindu people there are a lot of similarities we can see a man seated with a cross leg surrounded by an animals here so that is why if we compare the seal discovered at Harappan site and that of the you know, you know imaginary picture of Lord Shiva followed by the Hindu people then there is a lot of similarities that is why historians and archaeologists are of the view that maybe or perhaps the Hinduism of today is actually a lineage from the you know religion that was worshipped or followed by the Indus people. So with this comparison, we say that the main male god worshipped by the Indus people was Lord Shiva or Lord Rudra or Lord Pashupati. As we talk about the main male god worshipped by the Indus people, we should also keep in mind that the main you know, mother female god worshipped by the Indus people will be Mother Goddess. Moving further, we have question number 16. Which Harappa site is called as Black Bengals? The options given here are Mohenjo-daro, Kalipangan, Rangpur, and Lothal. We have done this in our last video as well. The right answer will be Kalipangan. Because Kalipangan literally itself, it means Black Bengals. Question number 17. Most of the Harappan inscriptions were recorded on stones, bricks, copper plates and rocks and the right answer for this question will be option number a that is stones then question number 18 Mohenjo-daro literally means mount of desert mount of skulls mount of death the right answer for this will be option number C, that is the Mount of Death, because during the excavations, many dead bodies and many skeletons have been discovered by the archaeologists. So liter Mohenjo-daro literally, it means the Mount of Death. Then question number 19, the Indus Valley houses were built of, or were made of, iron, 
bricks, copper plates, and rocks. The right answer for this will be packed bricks. Question number 20. With the discovery of new mount in 2014, which of the following became the largest Indus Valley site? This is very important for all of us to remember. Options given here are Mohanjodaro, Rakikari, Ranpur, and Lothal. The right answer will be option number B, Rakikari. So we should keep in mind that you know the archaeologists and the historians are still on the process of excavating or discovering new places from the Indus Valley civilization. So in the year 2014, there was a discovery of a new mound uh, which met Rakikari, the largest Indus Valley site. But uh, we should also keep in mind that until 2014 or until the discovery of a new mound, Mohenjo-daro was regarded as the largest Indus Valley site. But from 2014 onwards, after the discovery of a new mound, Rakikari became the largest Indus Valley site, replacing that of Mohenjo-daro. We should keep this in mind for the current affairs as well. Moving further, question number 21, we have Indus Valley civilization people had dread relation with Egyptian, Chinese, Mesopotamian, and Romans. In our first slide, we have done this. I told you that the Indus Valley civilization, the main occupation was agriculture, but in addition to that, they had a trade relationship with other civilization. So with which other civilization uh, did the Indus Valley people had a trade relationship? The answer will be option number C, that is Mesopotamian people. Now, when this Indus Valley civilization people had a trade relationship with the Mesopotamian people, these Indus Valley people were regarded with the Indus or the Mesopotamian people referred to the Indus people as the option given here are Harab people, Indus people, Sindhu, or Miluha. So when these Harappan people had a trade relationship with the Mesopotamian people, this Mesopotamian people referred to the Harappan people as option number D, that will be Meluha. Question number 23. Which is the easternmost archaeological site of Indus Valley Civilization? The easternmost archaeological site of Indus Valley Civilization will be Alamgirpur, which will be in western Uttar Pradesh, that is in India. Question number 24. Which is the westernmost archaeological site of Indus Valley Civilization? Westernmost archaeological site of Indus Valley Civilization. The right answer will be Sudgajendo, which will be a, in the border of modern-day Pakistan and Iran. Question number 25. Which is the most northernmost archaeological site of Indus Valley Civilization? The right answer will be Manda, which is in Jammu and Kashmir of today. That is also in India. And the last question for today will be question number 26, which is the southernmost archaeological site of Indus Valley Civilization? And the right answer is Daimabad, which is in Maharashtra. So if we see the eastern, western, northern, and southernmost extent of this Indus Valley Civilization, apart from the uh, westernmost archaeological site of Indus Valley Civilization, all this easternmost, northernmost, and southernmost extent of archaeological site of Indus Valley Civilization are in India. There is only the westernmost archaeological site, which is beyond Indian border. That is Sutka Jinder, which is now bordering with that of Pakistan and Iran. So we should keep that in mind as well. So with this, we will wind up our session for today. We have covered up the most important and selected uh, you know, 26 multiple choice questions from Indus Valley Civilization. Thank you so much for joining this session. We'll try to bring up, I'll try to bring up another interesting uh, topic in our next video. Thank you so much for joining this session. Have a nice day.